So this is my Doctor Who figure review of the Dalek the Eternal from the new Dalek Paragene collection. There's five to collect. Got this on clearance just like my other figures. It's not part of the Godarka collection however. Got it for six euro just like my others. It says eight euro here but I got it for six. Um, the other ones that are possible to collect are this one, this one, this one and this one. What I like in the white one it's cool but this was the last one in stock. The yellow one and it's Dalek the Eternal. So that's the packaging, not really much to show, so now I'll show you the figure itself. So here's the Dalek now, we'll roll it right on up, let's have a look at some of the details. You can see the eye stock here, which goes up and down, it doesn't really go left to right, the head goes left to right, but the eye stock, it kind of does, but then it kind of resets back into the centre. But it goes up and down, and that's about it. The head rotates. Then we've got the these two things, I don't know what you call them, the plunger and the death ray, the extermination ray. Um, they rotate 360 degrees. And then if we look at the back, let's have a look at some of the details. It's fairly detailed for a Dalek, I suppose, but compared to the other figures, it's, there's not a whole lot of detail, but that's not really down to manufacturing quality that's just down to it, it being a Dalek and Daleks not really having a whole lot of detail anyway and there's one little thing here that's a bit annoying just a little random circle here be nice if that wasn't there and um, we've got on the bottom focus on these we've got these wheels which rotate 360 degrees little caster wheels so you can roll the Dalek around and steer them anywhere on the spot, and it doesn't really roll too well on this surface. Though so it's it's a quite a good figure. It's not it's a lot bigger than than these figures, but at the same time, I think these figures they're just a little bit better because there's a lot more detail on them. But again, that could just be because they are people and this is a Dalek. But this seems a little bit more toyish, more flimsy. You know, even it's not very steady there. But it is it is a very it's still a very good collectible to have if you can get it if you can get it cheap definitely I, I got it because I got it for six euro which is, is isn't a whole lot of money for for something this this cool looks cool on the desk the plunger here can kind of bend a little bit I'm not sure if it's supposed to but it bends a little bit so you can bend that on the eye stock it does too a little bit so this is quite a nice figure I don't like it as much as I do the Pandorica figures like these I kind of like these figures because there's so much detail on them, but then again, this is a Dalek, so there's not going to be a whole lot of detail anyway. I think it would have been cool like to have this in metal, but of course, this is a toy and not a collectible, even though, well, it's a toy and a collectible, but it's more a toy and I'm I'm using it as a more of a collectible. But I think this in metal would be cool. I don't know, it's just, when you have something this small, like as this, in plastic, it's okay, but since it's so big, it, it makes it look really cheap in plastic. But a, a metal Dalek would be cool. But for six euro, which is what I got it for, it's definitely worth it. It's a, it's a nice figure to have on your desktop next to next to anything or next to all your other Doctor Who figures if you have any. And it's just kind of I wanted at least one Dalek. I've never really been a big fan of the Daleks, but if I'm gonna have a if I'm gonna start a Doctor Who collection, might as well have a Dalek. So I'd recommend this to anyone who wants a Dalek figure.